Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to spawn locations in Valheim. I'd like to spawn some goblin camps. So I'll open the console, hammer, location, goblin, camp, 2. There we go. And now, if I click, boom, it spawns a whole goblin camp. But where's the goblins? Oh, there they are! They're showing up. The mod is called Infinity Hammer. And what's quite interesting about this is that you can just click and it's going to look different every time because it's actually regenerating a goblin camp. And if you do it enough, you're going to be disappointed because you'll find that after you've spawned a couple of them, where are the goblins? Valheim has limitations for the amount of creatures that can be spawned in a given zone. You can see that you can spawn a whole bunch of them. So now let's look at the different things that you can spawn with this tool. To explore all of the things yourself, type hammer underscore location and then space. And then you can just tab through every possible thing that you can spawn as a location. And for some clarity on what these are, these locations, it's, it's the message to the game to make the, the building and the monsters and put everything there. So you're looking directly at that. That's how this mod works. It doesn't add something that's not there. It just allows you to interact with what the game already does. Unfortunately, some of the things like this one, Hammer Location Castle, aren't found. I'm assuming this means that they either were gonna use them and didn't, or maybe this is something to do with Ashland. You can also spawn the boss temples. So for example, we could spawn the Goblin King. And then look at this, we can just spawn this giant hand right there, boom. Some other cool stuff you can spawn are any of the towers. For example, this is Stone Tower 1, there's also Stone Tower 3, which is this big one. When you spawn these, it's just like the camps, you'll put it down, and then as long as there's enough room in the area, it'll populate with some enemies. See, there's some spawning up there. If there's too many enemies around, then the spawners won't trigger until there's enough slots for them to spawn in, so to speak. You can also spawn the log cabins you find in the mountains. You really, you can spawn anything that the game spawns. Something that you'll notice is a lot of these items have a sort of a terrain modifier on them. So when you spawn the location, Valheim will sort of raise or lower the ground nearby to make it level to fit with the structure. There's also all of the towers, and you can find those by typing hammer, location, and then just tower, and then tabbing through the ones that you find. The stone tower ruins are the ones that you're going to recognize, as you can see. Some of them are pretty cool. I mean, this is like a pretty complete thing, right? The ruins are interesting. It's quite obvious how if you rerun the command, you can actually see the kinds of stuff that the game can generate. So we can see that sometimes all the bricks are there, right? Other times there's almost nothing. And sometimes the Vescovir or the boss locator is inside the little hut. Whoa, there's a beehive there? My mind is blown. That's a beehive. I, I honestly thought beehives could only be found in the meadows. I, I'm perplexed. Huh. Learn something new every day, huh? Now, if you want to see more in detail, check out this video, which shows all of the things that you can spawn as of the date of me making the video using the Infinity Hammer mod. And if there's anything you are confused about, then comment below and let me know. I love responding to comments with more tutorials.